Hi everyone, welcome to Solar Integrations. Um, today's video is going to be about automations and I'm going to be doing three automations. The first one is going to be using our solar forecast data uh, which we set up the other day and it will automatically switch the pool on when we're going to have a good uh, solar day for the day. Uh, the second automation will be to automatically switch our geyser off when we have load shedding. And my third integration or automation will be to change the color of a light bulb from white to red when we disconnect from the grid and then back to white again when we reconnect from the grid. I hope you guys find it uh, useful. I have included a great cheat for writing automations, which I've uh, which I worked out, and uh, I hope you guys find it useful. Please remember to uh, like and subscribe, and turn on notifications so you get notified when I have a new video. And um, I appreciate your comments. Thank you very much. Okay, everyone, my first automation today is going to be to turn my swimming pool on when the solar forecast for today is more than 30 kilowatt hours. And um, the way I'm going to do that, go to settings, automations, create an automation, create a new automation. Um, add a trigger so I wanted to do that at nine o'clock in the morning it's going to check if um, if that value is above 30 okay um, the condition of it working is going to be that the numeric state of my um, of this entity the solar forecast so if we go solar forecast for today okay and that that value is going to be above 30 okay and then the condition so um, that's my condition solar production estimated for today above 30 or you can put it below a value or however you want to do it um, and then my action is going to be to call the service the service I want to call is switch on okay and the thing that I want to switch on is my pool so this is going to be the name of the um, of your uh, device which you want to switch on so let's just go through this again so when the time is equal to 0900 in the morning check the solar production sensor for the day okay so I go in here so sensor.energy production for today okay is going to be above 30 then turn my swimming pool on um, I can save that save it call um, solar production okay let's save that okay let's go back over here solar production pool now if we have a look uh, let's just switch my swimming pool off um, my solar production for today for some reason is saying five kilowatts which is very low um, so what I can do is if I go to my selections automations and I want to trigger that now and see if it runs okay the pool is now on I'm not sure why this value is at 5 kilowatts because I know it was over 30 kilowatts just a little while ago okay my second automation is going to be an automation to disconnect loads on your system when you have load shedding um, what we're going to do is our trigger is not going to be time based like the solar forecasting one was um, we're just going to watch the value of 
our uh, so we're going to watch the state and the state is going to be our grid connected status um, this is a value of one when we're connected to the grid and zero when we are disconnected to the grid so when that changes from one to zero we're telling home assistant that it needs to do something and um, what we're going to ask it to do is um, change the value so we're going to call a service and we want to um, it's on a switch we want to turn the switch off okay so and which switches are we going to turn off um, if we have a look on my inverter at the moment I've got the stables geezer on and the main geezer on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to, to turn the and let's just type in geezer and these will obviously change based on your own names what you call what you call things that type of thing so I'm going to tell it to turn the stables geezer off when we have load shedding okay so I'm going to save that automation and I'm going to call it um, uh, load shedding geezer disconnect okay whoops try again geezer disconnect okay save okay and if we go back to automations there it's sitting over there if I now go to my page over here you'll see I've got um, my grid status over there and there my geezer switched on so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and switch my mains off to simulate a um, grid disconnect so let me go do that and you should see the stables geezer disconnect uh, get switched off Okay, and the stable skeezer has been disconnected. Uh, we can make this a bit smarter with uh, asking it to reconnect when the, the grid comes back on again. And if you want to know that, just uh, what, how to do that, how to make it uh, easy, then just watch uh, the third automation. Okay, my third integration, I have a light over here. I don't know if you can see where my icon is, where my arrow is. Um, and what I want to do is I want that light to change color from white to red when we have load shedding so that everybody in my house knows that we're load shedding at that point in time um, and then I want it to change back to white when we connect back to the grid again so this becomes a little bit more complicated to make in the automation you can do it all over here but I find a bit of a cheat which makes it um, quite a lot easier. Um, I use um, ChatGPT, which I don't know if, uh, if you guys have used ChatGPT before, but it's an AI system that um, ha uh, knows a little bit about Home Assistant, so it can write YAML code for us. Um, if we go into uh, ChatGPT and... Um, so first of all, I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to change this. I'm going to change it from the visual editor into edit YAML. Okay. I'm going to delete that which it comes with. And I'm going to ask um, chat GPT to... Um, what I'll say... Let me just copy this over here. Okay, um, how do I configure an automation in Home Assistant to watch the value of the sensor uh, SS underscore grid connected status? So that'll, that's the sensor which is showing uh, if we're connected to the grid or not. And when the value changes from 1 to 0, so 1 is connected to the grid, 0 is disconnected. So when it changes to disconnected, change the color of the light bulb at... Um, I just need to go into um, 
Home Assistant, Developer Tools, Light. That light bulb is called the Horse Light. So let's copy that. Put that in over here. Change the color of the Horse Light to red. And when the value uh, of Grid Connected Status changes back to 1, change the color of the light bulb back to white. Okay. And... If you could write that code for me, ChatGPT, that would be very cool. Okay, so ChatGPT is going to then spit out that um, that code for me. Okay, I'm going to I'm just going to copy that code. Um, Let's go back to automations, create an automation, create new automation, and edit in YAML. Let's paste that in over there. What you, you need to just fix up the, the lining, the alignment here a little bit. The stuff with the uh, trigger and action needs to be indented. And then I think these services I'm not sure if these services. let me just try save it see what happens save change light color based on grid status we'll call it that and that is saved okay so now what we want to do is see if that works so I'm just going to run outside and just switch my um, switch off for my grid and we'll see if this light bulb over here changes to red um, what we can also do, let me just go back over here. Um, okay, so this will also, this is my grid connected status over here. So that will change to zero as well, and then it should switch it over. Let me go do that. Okay, and there you can see the light bulbs change to red. And if I have a look over here, my latest grid sensor status should be at zero. Once that updates, that'll be to zero. Um, okay, so now is it going to change back to white when I turn it back on? There's going to be a bit of a, a time delay because... Your, your inverted uh, st grid connected status takes, um, depends what you've got it set in your settings, but I think it defaults for 60 seconds. So it's going to take a little while to change. Let me go switch it back on again. Okay, so if we have a look over here, uh, that light should go white in a few seconds. You can see here where I was testing all the stuff out. What I'll do is I'll include the code for. Um, the code for all the automations, the one for the changing of the light color, um, the load geezer switch, uh, the load shedding to switch the geezer off, and then the solar pool production. I'll include all of those in my uh, in the show description as well. And um, I was thinking of with the load shedding switch, you don't really have to switch your geezer off if you're making enough solar power. So maybe what we want to do with this uh, load shedding geezer switch off automation is say, if there's load shedding and our battery is going flat, then switch the geezer off. Because that would also, um, and that we could do in, 
in uh, chat GPT as well and ask it to write that code for us because that, that also gets a little bit more, uh, more complicated. So if we have a look, that's the, the graphical representation of it. If I go to the top over here and I go to edit YAML, that's how what that YAML code looks like. Uh, you can see my light has changed back to uh, white. So I hope you guys are um, excited about automations and um, linking up your inverters um, to Home Assistant. If you haven't done it yet, it is awesome. See you soon for another great video. Thanks for all the support, guys. Um, please remember to uh, subscribe and thumbs up and notifications and all the normal uh, YouTube stuff. Appreciate all the support.